welcome to La House Resource Center. Come on in. La House Resource Center is a wonderful educational facility that the LSU Ag Center has, um, has developed with the partnership of a lot of partners in the private and the public sector. It's part of our sustainable housing educational initiative. And what it is here for is to really show a whole range of solutions, what we call a showcase of solutions. So La House was designed to integrate and to balance five very important benefits and criteria as we define sustainable housing. First is resource and energy efficiency. Very important in terms of our ecosystem, our environment, as well as our pocketbook for the household. Second is durability, and that includes issues of hurricane flood as well as moisture control. And third is health. Healthy home features are integrated throughout this house as well. And we balance that with what is practical and what is convenient because that's what creates the doability where it can go mainstream. So here at La House, we show a range of options and a lot of different interesting technologies that people can adopt for their existing homes as our new construction as well. The, the concepts that we try to help people understand is that one, in new construction and when you're wanting your existing home to make improvements to make it more energy efficient, to make it more comfortable, but also to make it healthy, you want to build tight or tighten up your existing home and vent right. You do want some fresh air. We need that to dilute the pollutants that are created in the home and we also need that just for um, good quality fresh air. It's, it's a requirement, but when we bring in that fresh air in our climate, that means we're bringing in excess humidity. And so when we have this humidity to control dust mites and to be comfortable and to maintain an environment that's going to resist molds and less attraction to bugs and pests as well, is you do want to dehumidify. In, um, Traditionally, with existing homes, they were very leaky, they were not very energy efficient, and the air conditioner also serves as a dehumidifier. It would take out enough moisture. But in today's very tight homes, and the more energy efficient you make your home, and the tighter it is, yes, you save a great deal of energy, but you don't have much load. There's not much need for cooling or heating in a very energy efficient home. So it may actually not run enough to take out that humidity that we generate and that comes in from the outdoor air. So the ultimate is to separate those two functions to some degree, especially for the spring and the fall, those shoulder seasons. And to get the best of all worlds, we recommend build tight, build energy efficient, and get a, a very efficient heating and cooling system, but also supplement that with some fresh air ventilation that is controlled, that is filtered, and also some dehumidification. And that way, you're not depending upon cooling, having a cooling load to take the excess moisture out. We have some wonderful new energy efficient technologies and energy efficient building systems that can really increase our comfort and give us energy efficiency. La House demonstrates structural insulated panels, the unvented attic concept that you see here, and, and the, the big, one of the big reasons to do an unvented attic, it is an easy way to put all of the ductwork within the conditioned space. Typically, in existing homes, studies have shown that ductwork often is very leaky from the way it was installed in, in prior days, and it tended to leak 30, sometimes 50 percent of all the heating and cooling you pay for leaking into that vented attic. So what we want to try and do is put all of that within the conditioned space. 
within that insulation and that air barrier boundary. But when you do that, you're also reducing the load. That's good. You can buy a smaller unit and you get more energy efficient. But in reducing that load, that is often a tipping point. That means that that, that small unit and that very energy efficient system may not run enough for adequate dehumidification. So that's when we often will really benefit from having supplemental dehumidification. Also, some of the very tight, airtight building systems, whether it's conventional framing, just detailed to be really good and tight for energy efficiency, or it's a structural insulated panel, or it's insulating concrete form, or, um, or it's a home that is sealed with foam, which is becoming more and more common. Those have great benefits, but they often mean that if you do that and you don't adjust your heating and cooling and ventilation and dehumidification system accordingly, you could end up with moisture problems, and that's happened quite a bit. So downsize the heating and cooling to fit the load and add supplemental dehumidification, and that is the ideal for energy and health, as well as durability.